If your bike is cutting out as soon as you drop it into gear, you may have a failed kickstand switch. Now the kickstand switch is a safety device designed to cut the engine if you have the kickstand down and are not on the clutch when you go into gear. Short out the coil. Now it may fail and cause problems like the aforementioned, or in this case, you're building a track bike, the kickstand needs to come off, so you need to prevent it from cutting the engine and effectively trick the bike into thinking that the kickstand is up. So we'll have a look at there because the removal and diagnosis procedures in either case are very similar. The kickstand switch is a two position switch that just moves when your kickstand is either up or down. This lever moves into the two positions. Now, there's two different kinds, and depending on the manufacturer, there'll be different ways. It could be that the circuit is open when the kickstand is up, closed when it's down, or the opposite way around. Now, the easiest way to diagnose this is with a multimeter, but you can do it with the bike itself. So we'll show you that way first, in case you haven't got a multimeter. What you will need, however, is a small length of wire with stripped ends, and the rear wheel elevated for safety's sake. Now, what we're gonna do is simulate the switch operation. So to simulate an open circuit, really easy. Take the plug out. Now run the bike, drop it into gear, and see if it cuts out. To simulate a closed circuit, we've just connected this wire into the vehicle loom. Now this is actually a male plug, and I've just kind of stuck the wires in as long as they're touching. This is only temporary for testing. If your bike continues to cut out when you drop it into gear in both closed and open situations, you can rule out the kickstand switch. Start looking further along the lines. To test with the multimeter, you need to connect your two probes into the plug of the kickstand switch. Easily done uh, on the bike, but I've taken it off so it's much easier. Now set your multimeter to resistance or continuity, AKA the bleep test. Now on this old meter, one means open circuit, and when it closes, it will give a resistance um, reading. So in the position of kickstand up, we can see we've got a reading of two ohms, so that would be closed circuit. And when down, it's opened. So we know that this kickstand switch is working. Of course, I'm deleting it because I'm taking the kickstand off. If you saw the same reading in both positions, you would have had a failed switch. Whether it's stuck closed or broken open, it would be a failed switch and you would change that. So in this, we know that um, my bike ran uh, when dropped in gear when I closed the circuit with the test wire in. And we also know that when the kickstand is down, it's open. When it's up, it's closed. So closed circuit is what I need to do with the bike. Now at this point, there's a few options. You could, if you had a failed switch, chop off the wire here, connect these two, and plug it back into the bike, giving you closed circuit if that's what you need, and it'll run. Of course, if you need open circuit and it to run, you just unplug this and leave it off, and it'll go. Now, because this is a good kickstand switch, and will fit my road bike, what I'm going to do instead is chop the plug off the bike, and I'll do a permanent connection of these two wires here, meaning that with no input from the kickstand, because it won't be there, the bike will run when in gear, which is very helpful. And that's it. Whether you want to remove the kickstand switch or you need to test if yours is faulty, perhaps do a roadside repair. I hope this video helped. If it did, please give it a like, drop a comment down below, and of course, subscribe if you haven't already. I've also got Instagram and Facebook, so feel free to go check them out. And as always, have a fantastic day.